I'm John Lamont. I'm one of the directors of Chera Rub's baby care business. We manufacture and sell and distribute uh, baby care products. So the big feature of our products is they're most of them are 95% or more of organic nature. At the moment, we're doing business in Hong Kong is our biggest market, uh, Singapore and Malaysia. We're about to launch in Korea. The free trade agreements with China and Korea really mean an expansion of our business. So they mean the availability to provide new Australian jobs, manufacturing high quality products and exporting to really great growth markets. The markets are responding very well to Australian made high quality products. China is going to be a real big uh, key for our business as we move forward. So our biggest market currently is in Hong Kong. So we have an office in Hong Kong, we have a distributor set up in Hong Kong. Uh, a lot of our sales already go over the border to China. We're fully aware of that, either online or through people visiting Hong Kong. So we want to get established in China as soon as we can. To take advantage of the Chinese free trade agreements, and those also in Korea and Thailand, we really see that we'll be producing a lot more in our facility as we move forward. So we see our facilities in that area having to double. That'll increase jobs, it'll increase spend on production equipment here in Australia, and that'll allow the expanded facility to produce the higher volume required under the free trade agreements. And my advice to other businesses trying to take advantage of the free trade agreement is to also try and find partners overseas. So being able to open offices in those countries with dedicated partners in your business who have a real interest in your business has really helped us benefit from the current free trade agreement. So those people are working for us and working on our behalf and they're really helping us expand our business and we're looking forward to providing high quality Australian made products by a family business into the Chinese market.